Ellen Gibson, your host, and you're watching Birdie Valley TV. So glad that you tuned in. Real quick, I hope you have your pen and paper ready because our next guest is going to be giving us a plethora of information about media, media assessments, how to brand in the marketplace, top of mind awareness, the purple cow. We may even talk about that. Joining me in studio right now is media specialist Tim Barrett with See Me First Media. Welcome, Tim. Welcome. Hey. So very welcome. Proud to be here. Proud to serve. <laughs> I, boy, you intrigue me with all those things. I have no idea what you're talking about. No, it's not true. We've talked about <laughs> this before. You are a vetted and viable interview. I have to look those up after we're done. Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, just the previous interview, I had Bear right. from Sedona Segway Tours. So you're Barrett, Tim Barrett. Barrett so I thought go. that was a, a nice play uh, on sagging. Exactly. The segments. So, you know, Tim, the first thing I think about is the name of your company, See Me First Media. Very unusual. Any backstory on that? Or? Talk to people from time to time that have had maybe media problems, solutions, how do I advertise? How do I get the word out there? I've already done this, but I spent X amount. Or and it didn't work. <laughs> you know what? You yeah. should have seen me first. Oh, I get it. See me see first. See me me first. Media. Exactly. And you know, part of that um, conversation with clients is a media assessment. So right. I know that you said that that was something you really wanted to focus on is how c client relationship marketing. That's first and foremost. You got to find out. Everybody is their passion, has their passion. It's their business. It's their dream to have this idea, to have this product. So we sit down and find out what's the root of everything. Where does that passion come from? What is important for them to get across? And that has to get across in their message, in their advertising, in their media. So we do that assessment, and that assessment's for free, by the way. Yeah. So we sit down, get all the information, and then find out what the best course of action would be. So people can contact you at seemefirstmedia.com. Easy I know, to remember. Easy to remember. And there's the website right there, or they can give you a call, 928 uh, 200 3341. We got the phone right there. there we go. So they're writing it down. And in this free media assessment, I guess you'll go over wh what they're doing currently, whether sure. it's traditional media, social, sure. social media. And it's interesting that you brought up traditional media, social media. There's a balance that needs to be struck across the board. But if you look at a pie, say it's Thanksgiving, everybody needs an equal share of the pie. Or they hope to get an equal, hope to get an equal <laughs> share of the pie. At my family, <laughs> Thanksgiving, I get a little teeny You never want to get too far out of balance. <laughs> right. You want a good balance across the board. There are more effective areas to advertise or get the word out than others, and that's what we assess at CME First Media. Well, that, uh, and we know in the industry, is called market share. Right. Everybody gets a piece of the pie. Nobody gets the whole pie. But, uh, you know, part of uh, media assessment in telling a client's story is to position them into the marketplace as the purple cow. What is a purple cow? Yeah, yeah. We're so used to, like, great cattle country in Arizona. We're so used to driving across country. Texas, Arizona. Black and white, brown, black. But then all of a sudden on a hillside is a purple cow. How many cars do you think pulled over with the phones out taking photos of it? It's the unique. It's the entertaining. It's the enlightening. It's the unusual. You have to do that with your product or service. Be that purple cow. And that's where SeeMeFirstMedia.com steps up and says, this is how we create your product, your service, to be a purple cow. So, you know, I listen to some of the media content that you have created throughout the years, and your voice is on uh, quite a few of them. Is it that You've got that sound. That's one of those things. It's one of those things. So you also uh, hosted a show, I know, across America, All Outdoors with Tim right. Barrett. Right. So how does that play into it that you know the show side is show business and the business side? Does, it, does that work together good? That route goes back to Lawrence, Kansas, when I originally had set out to do my program mm -hmm. and didn't necessarily even realize it, but it worked hand to hand. Of course, I'm trying to sell my product or get my show out there, have everybody listen for the ideas, have everybody get the outdoor tips. And I actually have my first client come to me. They're like, Tim, you bring your car in here every week to get it washed. What about boats? Do you think outdoorsmen, boaters would be interested? 
boom, there you go. I said, you know what, we'll talk about it next week. Come on in the show. Didn't even realize it, had my first sponsor. It worked very well hand in hand. So that's really uh, brand blending when you have a media outlet, you have a client, you have a talent, and then you pull it all together. And you're able to do that. So you know all sides of, exactly. of the marketing plan. And a lot of times I think when people are in business, they're desperate for an answer. Sure. So, and you can't blame them, yes. especially coming out of the markets that we've had, especially coming out of the hard economic times that we've had. So dollars, especially when you look at a business startup cost, that's huge. Just maybe from equipment or maybe from rent or a facility alone. But is advertising something they should not think about? You know, recently I was at a place that seemed to be doing well. And I said, we never heard of you before. And they said, oh, we don't advertise. And I'm like, okay, maybe that's why I'd never heard of them before. Right. So I tried to find out how Wait, they Why think. are they hesitant? Right. Why are they hesitant? Because they don't have that leadership. They don't have somebody to take them the next step, as in seemefirst.com, do that media assessment and show them, as you said at the beginning, the plethora that is available to them. You know, Verde Valley TV is a classic example. Thousands of watchers, yes. listeners. We've got Every so many week. venues coming up. We've got Mingus football coming up Woo, soon. Go, hey, go Marauders. look how many people watch and listen for Mingus football. Yes. Verde Valley Experience, what's going on in the area? There's, there's great programs. Arizona Business Showcase is giving you each and every week tips, mm. regardless of the business, on how to accelerate your business, on how to make more of an accurate portrayal of your business, on how to get the word out there. Each and every business, you may not have a pest control business or you may not have a, like Bear had the Segway business, but his success in getting the word out there. Yes. You can learn from each and every show you watch. Yes, and Arizona Business Spotlight is here for you, Verde Valley. Every week we have interesting guests. We talk about marketing assessments and top of mind awareness and social media, traditional media. And the point is, is that you need to get your story out into the marketplace. Tim Barrett with See Me First Media. Uh, SeeMeFirstMedia.com is your website. People can go there, get more information, or they can call you direct. 928-200-3341. So people that are watching right now and they're uh, thinking of starting up a business, how, you, how important is it for them to structure some of that uh, business development money to marketing. They certainly need to. Yes. It's very important. And another thing too, you mentioned top of mind awareness a little bit ago. You know, sometimes if I'm out at a cocktail party or whatever, I don't necessarily want to throw unrelatable terms out there. But when I say top of mind awareness to people, they know that. Mm -hmm. When you think of something like a ram on the hood of a truck, what do you think of? That, that brand of Dodge would come up, that blue oval, that brand of Ford would come up right. along those lines. Top of mind awareness. But how you create top of mind awareness is through strategy and persistence. You have to be there at least the three month, the 90 day period to create that top of mind awareness. The you're, image, you're the sound. You're preaching to the choir right now <laughs> because that is my biggest thing is you need at least three to six months to brand in the marketplace. And there's 168 hours a week. Yavapai Broadcasting uh, has six incredible radio exactly. brands. Verde Valley TV, we're here for you. So, and then you tie that in with your social media, and I always say that everything needs to match. Right. The website. The balance, the, yes. the email blast, your logo needs to be there. The logo, uh, colors send images. Again, uh, creating top of mind awareness yes. through those images, through that sound, through that relatability. That's a word I use a lot, is relatability. Yes. And have that, answering your question a little bit earlier, going in a little bit further, have that money set aside to have that duration of that 90 days and also it's an evolution process when you come to that end of that 90 days we take the next step be it a special be it a seasonal effort that you're doing with your business carry that to the next level wow process improvement that's another thing that i think businesses need to be patient with the process exactly. like you said it could be seasonal and occasional and but i do believe that there needs to be something that their brand is connected with in the marketplace that's ongoing and something like a sponsorship right. for Verde Valley oh, Experience yeah. or Inside Cottonwood. Uh, the mayor hosts that every week. We also have countywide. 
So we have a lot of shows that exactly. would match their business. I can always remember on Tim Barrett's All Outdoors, because I am a weather person as well, a lot of people would step up and, boy, they'd fight to get that, that outdoorsman weather forecast that I didn't have in there every sure. week. So having that special effort, being a news sponsor, being a, maybe a traffic sponsor in some area. You know, I, I can remember being on the air in Hawaii, and that was the most major sponsorship was traffic because you're on an island in Honolulu mm -hmm. and you're going to spend some time in traffic and that had a lot of ears. I heard that was the fifth largest traffic market in the nation, believe it well, or not. After right being there. there for the time I did, I'll <laughs> say it's number one. Well, we're getting some traffic here in Cottonwood yes. and with all the tourism and, and we know our winter visitor, visitors will be coming. May soon. I interject something about tourism? Absolutely. The destination of the Verde Valley is becoming legendary, be it for the wineries, be it for the gaming, be it for Dead Horse State Park, which I think is a tremendous resource. Of course, being an outdoorsman, I, I do love that, and I share that with my wife as well. You need to remember the destination aspect of that. You're going to have people watching Verde Valley TV, and they're going to hear about your business, and they may be from Lithuania. Right. It is global. That was what I, you know, we're, we ran out of time, but uh, I'd love to have you back on and talk about the global marketplace. Right. And even somebody local and regional can expand out using Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and exactly. uh, websites and emails. So we need to know electronic media delivery, traditional media, radio, TV, and then the social media. Exactly. You'll find all that out at seemefirstmedia.com. Tim Barrett, media specialist, joining us today on Arizona Business Spotlight. You can give him a call, 928-200-3341 for more information. We'll be back with more Arizona Business Spotlight in just a moment. Orkin has pest control down to a science. When your business chooses Orkin's Precision Protection Program, you get a tailored pest control program for your specific industry and environment. Your business can benefit from over a century of experience, training and scientific knowledge that define the Orkin man. Maximum protection, minimum exposure, backed by one of the industry's most comprehensive guarantees. Choose your locally owned and operated Northern Arizona Orkin and get more than an exterminator. Get an expert. Back on Arizona Business Spotlight. Where does the time go? Ah, I'd like to thank my guest, Bear, from Sedona Segway Tours, and Tim Barrett, media specialist with See Me First Media. Remember, this is the most important thing. You can and you will. Dream big. You can own that business. You can run that business. We're giving you lots of tips here. Be sure to go to Verde Valley TV YouTube channel to replay some of these episodes and to marinate, so to speak, in these business tips that will help you succeed. I'll see you next time right here on Arizona Business Spotlight. Thank you.